my food but thanks to my invisible nose that I was able to smell it before it was too late speaking of nose do you know how it works if not don't worry my friends let's be nosy and find out some interesting facts about an impressive part of our body we call the nose zoom in well friends as we all know that your nose lets you smell, breathe, and is the main gate for the respiratory system. And it all starts with the nostrils, which is the entrance point of your nose, separated by a wiggly wall in the middle called the septum, made of a very thin piece of skin and bone known as the cartilage. Right behind your nose is a space called the nasal cavity that connects with the back of the throat. As you inhale the air through your nostrils, it enters the nasal passages and travels into your nasal cavity. Then the air moves downwards through the trachea, generally known as the windpipe, all the way to the lungs. Then the whole process occurs in reverse order as you exhale the air out. But your nose is not limited to acting as a passageway for air. It also warms, moistens and filters the air before it goes to the lungs with the help of a moist, thin layer of tissue called a mucous membrane, which makes mucus, that sticky stuff in your nose, commonly known as snot. The snot works with your hair to trap unwanted small particles like dust and germs that could be harmful to your lungs. When this captured dirt dries up along with mucus, you get boogers. So, we need to appreciate these boogers as they are formed in the process of protecting your lungs. But sometimes your nose traps something you wanted to get rid of. And you know what happens next? You sneeze! I know you must be wondering, but where is the smelling part? Well, the reason you can smell different things around you is because of the olfactory epithelium. The olfactory epithelium contains special receptors that notice the smell and sends the signals along the olfactory nerve to the olfactory bulb. And finally, those signals go to the other parts of the brain to be interpreted as a smell you may recognize, like food, fruits, flowers, or smelly socks. Truly amazing, isn't it? Trivia time! Did you know Anosmia is the inability to perceive odor or a lack of functioning olfaction, the loss of the sense of smell. Anosmia may be temporary, but some forms, such as from an accident, can be permanent. Anosmia can happen due to many factors, including inflammation of the nasal mucosa, blockage of nasal passages, or destruction of one temporal lobe. It's question time! So friend, today's question is, what do you call the wiggly wall on the middle of your nostrils? And here is something new for you, my friends. From now, we are going to feature the name of three random winners from any of our previous episodes. And we will mention these names at the end of every video. So, today's winners are... Congratulations to you, my friends! And others, please keep answering in the comment section below to be a part of the Peekaboo family. And who knows, your name may feature in the next episode. 
episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.